What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On this week's episode, I wanted to talk about one of the foundational morphs in the ball python industry, and that is the genetic stripe. I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy this week's episode. We'll start out by looking at Sasha here. Now Sasha is a cinnamon genetic stripe, 100% head hypo. Now I got her from Unbelievables. In early 2021, when the pandemic was still raging on, we had a local show here in San Diego, a really small one, first one since all that craziness started. And my collection was still in the fledgling stages and I wanted to pick up something that was at least double het. And honestly, genetic stripe was not on my radar, but hypo definitely was. So I decided to pick up Sasha here and you know, figure out that someday I'll get into that genetic stripe. And of course that someday is now, and she's gonna be an integral part of the Genetic Stripe projects here at 403 Fauna. So once again, Cinnamon Hypo Het Genetic Stripe from Unbelievables. So a nice female is going to need a really nice male, and this guy has it in spades. This is Fabio, he is a butter desert ghost Het genetic stripe, 50% possible het hypo. So if I pair him with Sasha, if that hypo proves out, I'll get genetic stripe hypos that are 100% het desert ghost. And the butter genetic stripe is one of the cleanest, most contrasty genetic stripes. So, you know, some people focus on making the genetic stripes more wacky, like that's why the Kiki ball is so popular, the genetic stripe clown. But I also want to make genetic stripes that are super clean and the, but the butter genetic stripe will do that. And imagine a triple genetic stripe hypo desert ghost, that will be amazing. So this guy's Fabio and I got him from Osman Reptiles and he's gonna go super good with Sasha. I just picked up a couple of girls in addition to Sasha for him, and we'll take a look at those two next. Before I share with you those two new additions, a couple shout outs here. First of all, Kai from Lucas Landon Royals. Big shout out. He's honestly a role model to me, and I'll link his YouTube below and Instagram. Be sure to go check him out. Love those reflective stickers. Thank you for that sticker pack, Kai. And also to Brittany Gobble of Gobble's Reptiles. The next two snakes I'm gonna share with you are from her. And yeah, let's take a look at them. And she is the photographer for Canova. She's the one that makes the calendars for them every year. So super talented artist and awesome ball python breeder. Thank you to Kai and Brittany. This is one of two sisters that I got from Gobbles Reptiles. It is a normal slash wild type, double het, Enhancer genetic stripe. Now Enhancer is a compatible line of Desert Ghost. And who knows, maybe down the line I'll explore Enhancer, but for now she's got a date with. Let's get back to the ball pythons. But now she's got a date with Fabio and we'll make those Desert Ghost Enhancers genetic stripes. And you know, I've got two of them. When Brittany mentioned that she had the sister available and she'd make a great deal with me, I thought for about five seconds and said, yeah, I'll take that deal. So I'll, you know, I probably won't show the other one because it's just, again, a wild type that is double het. I decided to name them both salt and pepper. So pretty excited to add more to that project. Honestly, with the with the double recessives, you need those females. And I've been fortunate enough to have an army of females for Fabio here that he can work with. So thanks again to Brittany Gobbles of Gobbles Reptiles for this pair. Now enough looking at some of these heads, let's look at some actual genetic stripes. So here we got Cassiopeia, and she's a pastel banana, genetic stripe, 
100% HET4 VPI Azantic. So again, with the double visual recessive projects, I'm going hard on them and Desert Ghost Genetic Stripe, VPI Genetic Stripe, Clown Genetic Stripe. I think my collection is veering towards a lot of Genetic Stripe. And it's mainly because of when I got this girl right here along with her brother, which I'll share next. I got her from Decat Inc. So Banana Genetic Stripe, I think is beautiful. Banana itself is beautiful and you add that Genetic Stripe and it's just really awesome. So I have, you know, I could go several different directions with her. I'm not exactly sure which way I'll go with her yet, but with VPI, head VPI in there, that's probably, I'll be headed in that direction with her, but we'll see. She's still got a, a couple of years to go before I make that final decision with her, but I'm glad to have her in my rack. So let's take a look at her brother. So here's the star of the genetic stripes of the 403 fauna team. This right here is Frost. Frost is a double visual recessive. He is a pastel banana VPI azanthic genetic stripe. I'm going to plug him right into some clown girls, hopefully the next breeding season to make some triple heads with this guy and just do that long game that big time gamble of working with triple recessives. So pretty crazy how VPI Xanthic and Banana and Genetic Stripe all interact with each other, including Pastel. Look at how white that stripe is and he made a mess of his tub and got a little bit on himself right now. So apologies for that. But the sides stay a little bit yellow from the Pastel and the, the stripe is like a creamy brown. So just a really cool animal and so much potential with this guy. So this is the brother to Cassiopeia. He is Frost, Banana, Pastel, VPI, Xanthic, Genetic Stripe. Thanks again for joining me on this week's video. Now I want to apologize because I haven't been putting as much content out as usual. And that's because May is the toughest month for us teachers. But summer break is right around the corner, so expect me to get back to my usual two videos a week. Have a great week, everybody. Take care and be safe.